Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Lily Reads. Okay. So I have something. I have something that I want to do. I knew I wanted to do this about halfway through the year. So as you can see, my bookshelf is looking a little sparse, a little sparse in a few places because I have come up with a challenge for myself. It is called One Foot Out the Door. One Foot Out the Door. I am about to show you guys about 20 books that have one foot out of the door which means that they are on the brink of being unhauled now usually I only unhaul books that I've already read because I just have this idea that I am going to read all the books on my bookshelf one day so it's really hard for me to unhaul books that I have not read but I said this is called one foot out the door and that means that if I do not read these books by December 31st 2020 22, they will immediately be unhauled unless I have a specific reason and really the only specific reason any of these would be is if the, there's a sequel that comes out to these and I want to read both the sequel and the, the the first book together but I don't even think most of these have sequels so they will be unhauled there's really no excuses I have had these books on my bookshelf for too long for too long and I've not reached for them everything else that has stayed back there I kind of have an idea Idea of when I might read or I have like a I feel like I'm going to read this book there are some books I told you guys I was already gonna unhaul that I didn't unhaul that kind of need to be in here that kind of are in here so we're just gonna get into it we're going to talk about the books and this is my one foot out the door video so the first one is jasmine guillory's party up to i was gonna unhaul this book last year and then i went on goodreads and i looked up the reviews for this video uh this book and some people gave it good reviews so i'm like what if this is the one jasmine guillory that works for me you guys know jasmine guillory does not work for me so i said what if this is the one that works for me and so I kept the book and then I thought about doing the like giving authors one last chance type video like and doing one on Jasmine Guillory giving her one last chance so I kept this video. So I mean I kept this book so I'm gonna keep it for the rest of this year and if I don't read it if it does not come up it's gone it's gone you're gonna see it in my unhaul it's gone will not will not say anything will not try to keep it I will make room for other things on my shelf next book let me just show you both Jasmine Guillory's these two books as well by Jasmine Guillory the wedding party and the royal holiday the wedding party should already be unhauled I have tried to read this book twice and one time was physically the other time was on audio and I stopped both times so I do not know why I believe a third time will be a charm trying to read this book but I'm hoping I will read all three of these books in a Jasmine Guillory video I want to have a Jasmine Guillory based video I have read two books by Jasmine Guillory The Proposal and The Wedding Party wait that's what this calls the wedding the wedding proposal the wedding something the wedding what was it called the wedding date the wedding date um the proposal I actually kind of thought was pretty decent like I'm not even gonna lie I kind of like the proposal but the wedding date was horrible oh I hated that book so like and I, I I unhauled both of them like I don't even have those anymore but like I want to read I read those two so I'm like read this but me and Jasmine Guillory don't get along like we got beef like it's on site with her so I don't even know why I keep trying to do this so I'm gonna probably do a Jasmine Guillory video randomly this sometime this year you'll see it and we'll see if Jasmine Guillory is an author I enjoy putting an author in like a never buy from them again because at least I know it allows for me to save money because at least I know I never need to buy, get another book from you but I don't want to put Jasmine Guillory in there because I believe that there is a Jasmine Guillory that is going to work for me Jasmine Guillory publishes so many books and I just want to believe that there is a day that's going to come where it's like Yes, all these were flops for me, but Jasmine Guillory got that one. Some authors are like that. Like, they got that one that you like, but they, they did something there, you know? I'm waiting. Colleen Hoover's the same way. I'm waiting for that one Colleen that's just like, ooh, hate everything else she does, but there's one. The next one is the last one. It's the Royal Holiday. I don't even know what this shit is about, but it's also a Jasmine Guillory. We'll move on. A Low Country Bride. This is one of the books. Every now and then I go into a bookstore and I buy, 
I buy mess and this is some mess that I bought. It's about, I don't know what, let me not call it mess. Like uh, this could be a perfectly good book, but I purchased it, have never felt inclined to read this book. But as I look at this book, I have this book, the bride made something the something with brides and this other book called the wedding date disaster or something like that i kind of can do like a wedding theme romance video that would kind of be cool so that might be what i put this book in because i have another set of books up there books that i shouldn't have bought and, and it could be a whole thing it could be a whole thing so now i'm thinking again like i, I i'm probably gonna read this book the jasmine Guillory's we're kind of in the middle of it. will I ever read them I think I'm gonna get to this book before the end of the year so I think we're good here I think this will be read but if it doesn't it's getting unhauled instructions for dancing I've owned it for too long I've owned it for too long um you ever books that sit on your bookshelf and you're just like I've owned you for too long and I've never wanted to read you so it's time it's time to either put up or shut up like I don't know I don't know I just haven't read it I haven't reached for it but now that it is sitting here in my face I am hoping that I read it because even looking at it this is something I would buy right now so like I should Jasmine Guillory gave the verb the, the, the blurb Jasmine Guillory gave the blurb which shout out to Jasmine Guillory Jasmine Guillory is one who will give a blurb to a black author I, I love her for that um yeah I would buy it again but it's like what what has made me not reach for this i don't know i haven't even necessarily heard bad things so i don't even know this is a series isn't it i'm lying yet aren't i i don't know it's hardback it's cute it's a really cute cover i don't know i think that'll go on my so so far these two i'll probably get to i'll probably get to them the meat cute project i call this book the meat cuter project because this feels like an r at the end and so i keep calling it the meat cuter project but it's the meat cute project um this book has bad reviews on goodreads i bought it because i love the cover and like this like this adorable little black girl wrote this book she's probably a grown woman so let me say this adorable grown woman wrote this book but <laughs> I think it's an interracial romance, which you guys know how I feel about them. And it has bad reviews. So like what, what, I just don't see a reason. I just don't see a reason for me to ever put this. I'm putting this in the Jasmine Guillory pile. Like maybe Valentine's Day has already left because that would be the time for me to put this in one. But like I'm putting it in the Jasmine Guillory. I could see myself reading it, but... I also could see myself not reading it. Permanent Record. I bought this book on discount, as you can see, for $5. And I thought the cover was cute. It was a cover by. It was a cover by. It's so funny because now that I've purchased this book, I see this book on other people's bookshelves. I'm like, I thought I was, like, I literally have never seen this book before. Now I see this book and now I see it everywhere. Um, it's, it's like young adult adjacent. I don't know there I don't I don't know what this book is about I don't know I don't know it's just it was a cover by I want to keep it because I really do like the cover it's just not something that I'm actually interested in I 100% bought it because it was on bargain and not because I really wanted to read it so where do I put this in I'm gonna put this in also the Jasmine Guillory section of I might I might not radio silence i do not know why i bought this book do i think i will enjoy this book yes therefore why have i not read this book this is a book that i am sure i am going to enjoy but there is just never a time a space a reason for me to pick this book up and i'm like why i've owned this book for what when did this book come out when did this book come out y'all this book came out in 2017 this book is five years old and i don't want to read it 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 is that okay but what if this book changes my life what if this look at i i believe i'm going to like this book but 
I'm putting this in the probably gonna read. I'm probably gonna read this. I'm going to make time, make space, make room to read this book because I bought it for a reason. So it's going over there in a Low Country Bride and instructions today. An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahera Mafi. It's about a Muslim girl. I'm a Muslim girl. And so I picked up this book. I have never read a Tahera Mafi book. I know all of Tahera Mafi's books. I never read the Shatter Me series. She has that other series with those really pretty covers I'm thinking about buying. But like, I said I was gonna read this book. There's just no reason for me to read this book. This is, I, this has never been a reason. Um, I did just recently buy a book about another, another group of Muslim girls. And that could be a video. This book right here. I believe one of the girls are Muslim in this. And this could be a really good video. A really good, a really good weekend spent. So, I bought this book. I want to read this book. I am putting this in the Radio Silence, A Low Country Bride, and Instructions to Dancing Pile. I will probably get to it. I see myself getting into it. Punk 57. Punk 57. I didn't like Birthday Girl. I did not like Birthday Girl. None of Penelope Douglas' other books have ever sounded interesting to me, but I own Punk 57. But because I didn't like Birthday Girl, which people say is their best, and none of their other books have ever sounded interesting. I don't know why I should read Punk 57. I just don't see the purpose in me reading Punk 57. That's why I have not picked it up. But since I own it and I want to believe that, hey, I want to have one Penelope Douglas. That's the thing. I want it. My little sister loves Birthday Girl. So she's found her one Penelope Douglas that works. I want to have the one Penelope Douglas that works for me. That makes me be like, you know what? I might check out some more books by Penelope Douglas. But... Is Punk 57 that? I don't know. I'm gonna have to redo my rankings at the end cause I don't, I, cause I'm gonna put this in the Low Country Bride pile, but like, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get to it before the end of the year. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Why did I buy this book? This is a book I bought a long time ago. When was this published? This is, we're starting a new pile and this is the pile of, I'm not gonna read this. Like, <laughs> It is probably getting unhauled. Like, I am just not interested. I am, this is one of those books I, I know exist. I know it exists on my bookshelf. Some books get lost up here. Like, some of these books I pulled out, I forgot I bought. But this, I, I know, I've known that this book is 100% here. I just, no. I just know. I just know I'm not going to read it. So this is, goes into the new pile of, it ain't going to happen. If it does, wow. But it'll probably get unhauled. Probably get unhauled. I may surprise myself. Another book that's going in that same pile, Well Met, Well Met, I, this, we're getting into the phase of romance books that I bought because they were popular and not because I wanted to read them. I was just in a romance kick and I'm, I'm slowly getting out of the romance kick. I'm now entering a phase of my reading where like specific romance books I will read, but like I'm not trying to read every romance book that is popular. And that's why a lot of these books are, you know, that are about to come up are here. And this is a book that was popular. I bought it, have not wanted to read it. So this is going in my probably not going to read pal, but we'll see, we'll try, but we'll see. Another one that is just like that, if I never met you, it just doesn't, it's not doing anything. Like the, it's just, I don't know, I haven't heard much about it and it's just not doing anything. But all, all it's always my fear that the, the, the romance book that I unhaul is the one that's going to be good. The one that reignites my love for romance novels. But like, I've had time to read this. I read romance, I read a romance book every week. And so this is going to go on my, this is, this one specifically is going to go in the Jasmine Guillory pile because like I kind of I'm intrigued a little bit but not enough to be putting in the I'm probably going to read pile. The next one this is going on my I probably ain't going to read pile. The rules for faking it I don't know why I bought this book. I don't I don't even know what it's about and like 
it got one foot out the door. It got one foot out the door. Like if I don't read this, I won't miss it. Like this is one of these books I forgot I bought. Like someone could have came into my office, stole this book for the past, what, two years and I'd be none the wiser. Like I just did not know this book was on my bookshelf. And it'll probably be on somebody else's by the end of the year. Another one, The Friend Zone. Like I was just buying books to buy books. Didn't even know I owned this book. I was up, my romance shelf is this one or this one? This one. This one right here is my romance. Can, can y'all see? This, th this one right here is my romance shelf. And I was just pulling shit out and what the fuck is this? <laughs> What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this book? I don't know. I don't know what this book is. And it's probably not gonna get read. It'll find these those books are in pristine condition. Hold up. These three books are literally in pristine condition. You could take these books back to the bookstore and sell them at full price. They quite I need to make like a storefront to read. I don't like reselling books to people. I don't know why. Like I just feel like I be I bear the burden of buying it. Now I gift it to you. It's more so like that even though most of the places I send it to, they sell them, but like I just don't I don't resell books. I don't know why. But like pristine condition, but they're all the same of like the fuck did I buy these for? We'll see if I get to them, but they're going in my probably won't. Another one, You Deserve Each Other. You Deserve Each Other is actually not going to go in that pile though. You Deserve Each Other is going to go in the Jasmine Guillory pile of. We'll see. If I make time for you, I will. You Deserve Each Other. I don't know what, I don't know what none of these books are about. That's why they in this pile. Like, the fuck? Um, but if, oh, I forgot to tell you. If any of these books, you're like, Kenya, no. I know you, you'll like this book. Let me know and I'll definitely like switch it to another pile. But, no, I don't know what it's about. So it's going in the Jasmine Guillory. The Summer of Skinny Dipping. I've never heard anyone read this book. I don't know what this book is about. Um, I was at the bookstore. I saw it. It looked like a fun little YA. I, okay, think about me. Little thing about me. I love little YA summer romance type thing. That is my gig. Like, if you want, if the only way I'm going to read Young Adult about white people, if it is about a summery, rich, you know, middle class, upper middle class, like, or, you know, maybe down by the ocean. I love that type of white YA. I don't know. It just evokes summer vibes for me. So, like, that's the only white YA that I read. I don't really read YA. YA with white people I don't know I just don't find any of it all that interesting at all and but if you want to like get me give me a white people YA about summer fling fun mischief I love it and so I'm gonna put this one and I'm probably gonna read it I'm probably gonna read it. I actually even now kind of want to see what's going on in it so it's going in the probably gonna read pal red white and royal blue I've never read it I read 50 pages of it and then I um got distracted and like never came back to it. This is going to go in the I'm probably not gonna read it. Don't hate me. It's going in the probably not gonna read it. One foot out the door. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It was popular. I bought shit, shit. Um, I love books about adults on vacation, so I bought this book. It came off the brink of like people we meet on vacation, the unhoneymooners. Like I liked it, so I bought it, but I've heard bad things, but I might like it. So this is going in, probably gonna read. The Last House Guest. I've owned this book for so fucking long. Um, I, I've i read two Megan Miranda books. Megan Miranda books are always like, you read them. You read, they're just so, to me, Megan Miranda books are so commercialized. That's the word. Like, they're just very commercial. If I have time. If I have time, I'll read it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in my probably gonna read because it's the only real thriller -y book that is on here. So, I'm going to put it in my probably gonna read. I'm putting it in my maybe. I'm already not interested. I'm just not interested. I've had time. I'm just not interested. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is going on my gonna read list because I'm thinking of doing a video about YA thrillers. 
Um, I kissed I kissed Sarah Wheeler. I want to read that. And so I can read I Kiss Sarah Wheeler in this for like a YA murder mystery. I would this I don't read a lot of YA murder mystery. I'm trying to think, do I own any more YA murder mystery? I don't read YA thrillers. Like I just don't find them all that compelling. But like I was I know I'm gonna read this book because I'm thinking about doing something like that. Let's be clear, all of these books may not get read. Like, I'm putting some, there's some I want to read more than others, but there's a reason why they in this pile. They in this pile because they're probably not going to get read. Like, they got one foot out the door. Like, I have not been wanting to read them. The last two books from One Foot Out the Door, these, these, you might have seen these on my bookshelf and thought, Kenya, oh, you, why did I think this was only supposed to be a duology? But there's a third book to this. You have American Royal... You have Majesty, and then there not there one that just came out, or is that kind of like a companion? I don't know, because I haven't read any of them. I have fooled myself. I have fooled myself into believing I like books about royalty. I don't. I don't. I never am compelled to be a book. There's, there's, there's one thing about me, you know, I don't like books about famous people. I don't like books about famous people. And I think I don't like books about royalty either. either. And yet, I went through this phase where I was like, I do like books about royalty. And so I bought these. Kenya, at 14 years old, would have ate these books up. Kenya, at my big age, she does not read these books. But... There's a third one and I kind of want to buy it. I don't know if it's a companion or it's actually a third one in this set, but I kind of want to buy it. And I'm like, can you, what, what, what are you doing? You don't even, you didn't even read these. But I want to buy it. So I'm like, I'm going to read these, by the way. These are going in my probably going to read. I'm going to do a whole video around these video, bit, books, even though I kind of planned out all my videos and like there's no world where this, but I'm thinking maybe for like the winter sometime in November, these would be cute, a good little, a good little thing to marathon over the weekend. It just seems like it'll be fun for a couple days to get into a world. Maybe this is a better, because I didn't like Crazy Rich Asians, maybe this is like something like that. Anyways, the book, the video is almost over, so. I'm going to organize these books and like gonna read, probably gonna read, may read, probably not gonna read. Let me do that off camera and then I'll tell you guys what each section is what and we'll say goodbye. So I have organized everything and I counted everything. We have 23 books, 23 books, which if I'm good at math, which I'm not, that's averaging about four books a month. So if I do plan on reading all of these, I would have to read at least four of these a month. If I want to do them all in an even amount, I would have to read four of these a month to read all of these by the end of the year. That's not going to happen. But I am going to like maybe do a video of trying to clear. So I have an idea. But so I, I section everything off and really quickly I'll tell you guys what I'm probably going to read, what I may read, and what I'm probably not going to read. So these, these are what I hope. I hope I can read these. And that would be... American Royal and Majesty, Radio Silence, I'm going to get through it quick, Punk 57, The Imitation of Great Delight, The Emotion of Great, An Emotion of Great Delight, sorry, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Shit, The Summer of Skinny Dipping, A Low Country Bride, and instructions to dancing. I hope, I don't want to unhaul those. I do not want to unhaul those before getting to read those. Um, the things that I may get to, but if I don't get to, I'm not going to cry about. Jasmine Guillory, The Last House Guest, You Deserve Each Other, If I Never Met You, Permanent Record, and The Meet Cute Project. If I'm gonna try to get to those, if I don't, I have no problem unhauling them without reading them. Like, we had a good shot. And what I'm probably not gonna read, if we being honest with ourselves and I won't lose sleep over it, like someone could come take all five of these books right now and I'd be like, you could have them. Red, White, and Royal Blue, Well Met, The Friend Zone, ooh, that's bright. The Friend Zone, 10 Rules of Faking It, and Eleanor Elephant is killing it. It's, it's completely fine. What did I just... Uh, what? That's that Finley Donner. Uh, I got Finley Donner. Okay, anyway. So that's it. That's it. 
you'll see my progress and like you can like see these and be like you read one of those you did it i'm gonna i'm actually not putting these back on my bookshelf i'm gonna put them on my tbr carts you see one cart right there we got some book club picks coming up stay tuned for that and then i have another cart right here which has the new books that i purchased so it won't go there but it'll go back there in the tbr cart and we'll see if i get to them anyways that's the end of this one thank you guys so much for supporting lily reads if you want to see more of me hit me up on patreon which is as told by kenya and i'll see you guys in the next one peace so i have organized everything and i counted everything we have 23 books 23 books which if i'm good at math which i'm not that's averaging about four books a month so if i do plan on reading all of these i would have to read at least four of these a month if I want to do them all in an even amount, I would have to read four of these a month to read all of these by the end of the year. That's not going to happen. But I am going to like maybe do a video of trying to clear. So I have an idea. But so I, I section everything off and really quickly I'll tell you guys what I'm probably going to read, what I may read, and what I'm probably not going to read. So these, these are what I hope. I hope I can read these. And that would be... American Royal and Majesty, Radio Silence, I'm going to get through it quick, Punk 57, The Imitation of Great Delight, The Emotion of Great, An Emotion of Great Delight, sorry, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Shit, The Summer of Skinny Dipping, A Low Country Bride, and instructions to dancing. I hope, I don't want to unhaul those. I do not want to unhaul those before getting to read those. Um, the things that I may get to, but if I don't get to, I'm not going to cry about. Jasmine Guillory, The Last House Guest, You Deserve Each Other, If I Never Met You, Permanent Record, and The Meet Cute Project. If I'm gonna try to get to those, if I don't, I have no problem unhauling them without reading them. Like, we had a good shot. And what I'm probably not gonna read, if we being honest with ourselves, and I won't lose sleep over it. Like, someone could come take all five of these books right now, and I'd be like, you could have them. Red, White, and Royal Blue. Well Met. The Friend Zone. Ooh, that's bright. The Friend Zone. 10 Rules of Faking It. And Eleanor Elephant is killing it. It's, it's completely fine. What did I just... Uh, what? That's that Finley Don. Uh, I got Finley Don. Okay, anyway. So that's it. That's it. You'll see my progress and like you can like see these and be like, you read one of those. You did it. I'm gonna... I'm actually not putting these back on my bookshelf. I'm gonna put them on my TBR carts. You see one cart right there. We got some book club picks coming up. Stay tuned for that. And then I have another cart right here which has the new books that I purchased. So it won't go there. But it'll go back there in the TBR cart. And we'll see if I get to them. Anyways, that's the end of this one. Thank you guys so much for supporting Lily Reads. If you want to see more of me, hit me up on Patreon. Which is As Told by Kenya. And I'll see you guys in the next one.